Hello, Yogi. Welcome to the first day of your yoga challenge. This is day one of seven, and we are going to get strong and calm as we move our body through the yoga practice. So why don't we get right into it? Let's begin on our backs. Let's move into a pose called Supta Baddha Konasana. So you're going to bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees open wide like a book. And I like to place one hand on my belly, usually my right hand, one hand on my heart, close down my eyes, and I just take a few moments at the beginning of every practice to just land, to feel, to acknowledge myself for showing up, even if you need to spend some time just like this for the class or in child's pose. You showing up for yourself and making this commitment to be for yourself for the next few minutes is such a win. Start to deepen your breath, so creating more of an intentional breath in through the nose, out through the nose. There's an audible quality to it, like an ocean wave in through the nose, long, deep, and slow. There be a slight pause at the peak and then exhale. Let there be a release, a softening. Beautiful work. On your next inhale, let's bring the knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your shins. Give yourself a tight, tight squeeze. Okay, let's begin with some core work. We've got to connect in with that core, that center line where we get our power from, our solar plexus. So send your legs right up to the sky. Good. Legs don't need to be straight, but they should be firm. So firm up the muscles, muscle into bone, and then extend your fingertips up towards your toes and lift your chest and shoulders right up off the mat. Beautiful. We're gonna pulse up, pulse up. Try and keep the shoulder blades off the mat. Go for another 10, nine. It's like you're sliding your ribs right towards your hip points. Good, for another five, four, three, two, and then you'll pause at the top, pause, 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 pause. Nice work. Bend your right knee into your chest, keep your left toes long, and then you're gonna bring left elbow to right knee as the left leg hovers. And then we'll switch, and then we'll switch, and then we'll switch. You're doing great. Keep that charge in the legs, and if you need to, you can just keep the legs at tabletop. You can bring the feet down to the mat. We're going for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. You're doing so well. All right, pause, pause, pause with that right knee back into the chest and then let everything come back down to the mat. Interlace your fingers over the shin of that right leg. Give it a squeeze. <sighs> Feel the weight of your body. Let's guide that knee over towards the left side of your body and open your arms up like a T. Gaze over your right shoulder towards your right thumb. Try to keep the shoulders on the mat. It doesn't really matter if the right knee touches the floor. A little supine twist to get going. Let's roll back onto our back. Bring both knees into your chest. Nice big squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then send those legs right back up to the sky. Fingertips reach towards the ankles, towards the toes. Let's pulse up and up, keeping the shoulder blades off the mat, really pressing your tailbone into the floor for another 10, nine. You've got this, I know you can do this. Good, let's go for another five, four, three. I am the world's worst counter when it comes to this kind of stuff. I always get confused because I start talking about other things and I lose track. I'm pretty sure we're done now. Let's bring that left knee into the chest, fingertips behind your head, extend the right leg long, bring the right shoulder to the left knee for the twist and begin your bicycles. Back and forth, back and forth. Are you still breathing? Try and maintain that breath in and out through your nose. Let's go for another 10, nine, eight stick with me i know i'm feeling it too last five four three two excellent work this pause bringing the left knee into the chest let everything come down 
Squeeze that knee into your body. This is the descending colon that you're compressing here. Give it a nice good squeeze before guiding that left knee over towards the right and opening your arms. <sighs> Okay, let's bring ourselves back onto our backs. Bring the hands behind the knees. We'll start to rock up and down the mat. Little tiny rocks, maybe big rocks. Maybe you hover. And then on your next one, let's cross the ankles. Plant the hands, we'll tip forward. We'll make our way into a table. Right away, let's stretch out that, at that core. So drop the belly, pull the heart forward. Exhale, rounding out. Just two more like that, making each one a little bit bigger. Maybe you bring the weight more forward as you lean forward. Exhaling, sending the weight back as you send your whole back body to the sky. Just one more, make it really big. Broaden the collarbones. Exhale, draw the navel in towards your spine. Strong core. And now let's hover. We're not quite done with our core. We really want to wake it up. So you're going to curl those toes. You're going to hover the knees. So this is bare pose. The intensity will start to rise in your body. The heat, the internal fire will start to really fan as you start to move and breathe mindfully. Try and keep your neck long on all sides and create a little bit of softness through the elbows, where there's not energy needed. So you don't need to furrow your brow. You don't need to clench the jaw. Just breathe. Good. Support yourself in this effort. You can do this. We're not here for long. Keep drawing the belly button in towards your spine. Take one more long inhale. Feel your spine so, so long. And then exhale. Let's lift those hips slowly up and back. And then you'll straighten out your legs for downward facing dog. Set your eyes between your heels and just let them land there. Really focus. Maybe there's like a little speck on your mat. Maybe something you can say, let your eyes just fall on. And we'll take one more long inhale breath here, pressing the hands forward and down. And as you exhale, letting the heels sink down towards the earth, melting your chest a little bit closer towards your legs. Beautiful work. Let's walk those feet a tiny bit closer together and lift the right leg up and back. Bend at the knee and open up your hip. Keep that right foot nice and flexed. You're gonna try and peel that right hip open so it's stacked on top of the left, like a big right side body on. If you were to look underneath your left armpit, you might even see your foot there. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, bring the knee to your nose, bring your shoulders over your hands. So again, a little bit more core strength here. You've got this, look forward. Let's step that right foot all the way forward. If you need to help it with your hand, you do it. Bring the left knee to the mat. Good, just pause with your belly on your thigh, open through the heart, long spine. And then exhale, pressing back to straighten out the right leg. We're gonna curl the right toes towards your face. If this is too much and you have a block or a water bottle, you can place something on either side of that right foot to give you a little bit more support. You don't need to force or push anything here. The body will open up. Just breathe. And with our next inhale, we're gonna walk all the way forward. We're gonna reach both arms up alongside ears, Anjali Asana, big stretch, big reach. Try and knit those lower ribs together and think length through the spine, big, big reach. Then exhale, bring both hands down. Keep that left hand exactly where it is. Sweep the right hand to the sky. Look to your right thumb and you can stay here or curl the back toes under and lift up. So you firm up that back left leg, strong through the left glute. Twisting at the belly button. Big inhale. Good. And then bring both hands back to the mat. Step it to a high plank. And then drop to your knees. We'll take three push-ups here. So try and keep the elbows in towards the ribcage. And you only want to go down halfway. 
you really don't want those shoulder tips to drop below the level of the elbow. So we're only going halfway. Good, last one, we pause, three, two, and come onto your belly. Excellent work. Reach the fingertips behind you, roll the shoulders back and down, and inhale, lift everything up off the ground. Locust pose. This strengthens your whole posterior chain. I want you to feel the inner line of your legs zipping up. I want you to feel your collarbones broad like you had a beautiful necklace on, and you're showing it off. But at the same time, I want you to gaze down the bridge of your nose. So you're lengthening, broadening, taking up space. Can you lift up one more inch? And then exhale through bent knees to child's pose. Press up and back, bringing your hips down towards your heels, letting your forehead rest down on the mat. Real good. Not so bad, right? Let's keep going. Let's inhale forward to a table. Exhale, send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Right away, find that spot between your heels, your drishti. We send a message to our nervous system that everything's fine when our gaze is soft and settled, when it's darting all around. Our nervous system thinks that there's danger, thinks that there's something happening that, they, that it needs to be aware of and we don't want to trigger that right now. Let's walk those feet a little closer together. Send your left leg up to the sky, big breath in. And again, bending here, opening the left side body. You can look underneath your right armpit, see if you can see the foot. Keep that left foot nice and flexed. You're doing so well. And you lift that knee just a little bit higher as you stretch out and breathe into those left lungs. Exhale, knee to nose, hold for three. You're on the tippy toes of your right foot for two. Good, step that left foot forward. And again, you just help it with your hand if you need to. Bring the right knee to the mat. Lengthen the spine, let that belly rest on that forward left knee. On your next exhale, let's straighten out that left leg. This is Ardha Hanuman, our half split. So good for the hamstrings. Hamstrings are always so stubborn and tough to loosen up. Be gentle here. And on your next inhale breath, let's come all the way forward. Take a big breath in as you sweep the arms up. You can bring your palms together if you like or keep them apart, just doesn't matter. But if your hands are together, draw the shoulders down. Lift through the heart, big inhale. Exhale, frame that left foot. Sweep the left hand to the sky with the option to lift that back leg right up off the mat. Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, can you peel the left shoulder back just a little bit more? Legs are strong, scissoring towards one another. Take one more big inhale. Good, okay, hands down. Step it back, high plank. Now this time you have the option to drop your knees or keep them lifted, three push-ups. So elbows only halfway. Keep the elbows in towards the rib cage. Really good. This time, slowly come all the way down or hover your low push up. We'll take a cobra pose, untuck the toes. Roll the tops of the shoulders up, back, and down. As you inhale, pull the heart forward. Exhale, release. Do that one more time or straighten out your arms right into your upward facing dog. So your thighs will lift right up off the mat. And we'll take it to down dog. Lift the hips up and back. You can do this through bent knees as well. Walk, walk, walk those feet all the way up to your hands. Bring your fingertips onto your shins. Lift your spine halfway up. Scoop the belly and fold. Let your head hang. Nice, okay. Let's separate those feet a little bit wider than hips. Come into a rag doll, grab opposite hand with opposite elbow, or just release the hands, the head, and just jellyfish it over your legs. Think about what brought you into this challenge, into this practice. What is it that you're here for? Yoga is so very different than, say, you're going for a run or hitting the weights. 
is it that you want to connect into or create more of? Let's release the hands down, heel toe those feet back to touch. Again, half lift, fingertips come onto the shins or they can stay on the floor. This time, forward fold, and we'll rise all the way up to stand. You can bend your knees, press down through your feet to rise all the way up. Bring your hands to heart center. Let's get flowing. Inhale, reach it up. Are you ready to connect into your core? Fold forward, let it go. Half lift, a big inhale to lengthen the spine. Tap into that inner strength. Step into high plank and hold. Hold here. In your high plank, you have the option to drop your knees. You have the option to add a push up, down and up. Good. On your next exhale, I want you to take Chaturanga, which is just low push-up pose, hold. Then take Upward Facing Dog. Press the floor away. Downward Facing Dog. Lift those hips up to the sky. We're going to get moving, get warm. Try to just peel away any resistance to the practice, any ideas that you might have about what we're doing, or your body, or what you have to do later. Let's lift those heels. Breathe in. Bend your knees, so if you're spring-loading and either step or lightly hop all the way forward to the top of your mat. When you get there, catch the inhale breath right away and lengthen your spine halfway. Your body is parallel to the floor. Then let that go. Let there be softness. Release. Then rise. Extended mountain. Reach up. Can you get bigger than you did last time? Fan out the fingers. And then exhale, swan dive it forward. Let everything go. There's a little bit of repetition here. Half lift. Let yourself get into the rhythm. Hands to the mat. Step it to high plank. Hold your high plank. Drop to your knees or take a push up. Down and up. Really good. This time on the push up, you hold. And then take upward facing dog. Big inhale. Downward facing dog. Let that all go. Take one big inhale. As you exhale, can you sink your heels deep towards the mat? Stretch out the backs of your legs. Then inhale, lift the heels high. Exhale, bend your knees. Float, step, or hop all the way forward. When you get there, half lift. Empty it out and fold it. Let those big toes touch. Sit into chair pose. Big reach with the arms. Stay here, tuck the tailbone, and come a little bit deeper. You've got this, I know. This is a lot. Let's take a big inhale. As you exhale, I want you to cactus out your arms or go post your arms. Squeeze the tips of your shoulder blades together. Inhale, reach them long. Exhale, cactus. Stay low in your legs. One more time, big reach forward. As you exhale, I want you to lift up onto your tippy toes. Big lift. Stay here. Breathe it in. Soften the shoulders. Exhale. Just sweep your arms behind you. Kind of like a diver's pose. You're still on your tippy toes. Squeeze your legs a lot. Inhale. Back up into your tippy toe chair. Exhale. Fold it forward. Excellent. Halfway lift. Big inhale. High plank to low push up. Maybe you add an extra push-up if you want, or just meet us in upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Send the right leg to the sky, big inhale. Right knee to your nose, big exhale, hold, three. Drive that knee forward, two. You are doing so well. Step that foot forward. Back foot plants so that it's facing, say, medic clock. Warrior one, rise up. As you exhale, interlace your fingers. Send your fist to the floor as you breathe in. Humble warrior, breathe out. So we're opening to the shoulders, to the intercostal muscles. Let your head hang heavy. Let the pinky outside of that left foot anchor you down. 
Keep squeezing the right glute. Stay low in your legs. Just come back up into a big warrior one. Breathe in. Let your gaze follow your hands to the sky. And now bring your hands down to the mat. Step it back, high plank. Option to hold and meet us in down dog or move through the vinyasa. Big exhale when you get into your down dog. Let's lift the left leg to the sky. Inhale into your body. Exhale, contract and drive that left knee into your nose. You're pressing off the right toes for two. Look forward, press down, make space, and step that, right, that, that left foot forward. The right foot pivots, warrior one. So that back foot is flat. Arms alongside the earth. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you interlace the non-dominant way. Send your fists to the floor and bow. Humble warrior. Again, use your legs. They're your foundation. Really get connected to what's touching the earth. Press into the floor. And draw energy into your core so you can move with fluidity. Let's come back to warrior one. Big inhale all the way up. Exhale will take you all the way to chaturanga. High to low. Excellent. Or you know you can hold it. Upward facing dog. Open through the heart. Child's pose. Send the hips back. Acknowledge yourself. Acknowledge the heat. Acknowledge that prana, that life force starting to make itself known, pumping, awake, alive, alert. Let's stoke that. Let's keep that going. Inhale to table. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the heels. As you exhale, bend your knees, look forward, travel to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, release. Chair pose again. Weight comes into your heels. Sweep the arms alongside your ears. Tuck the tailbone. Big inhale breath. Cactus and squeeze your back body. Inhale, reach farther than you think. And then let it go, you fold. We'll do one more sun salutation B, half lift. We're actually halfway done it already. Make your way to Chaturanga. Up dog, roll over the toes, press the floor away. Downward facing dog. Right leg to the sky, breathe it in. Right knee to nose, hold three. Hold two. Now step it forward on one, the back foot pivots flat. Warrior one, big inhale, reach. Good. Hands to the mat. High plank. Maybe this time you take a three limbed plank and you keep that right leg lifted as you lower. Inhale breath is your up dog. Downward facing dog. Dump it out. Ha. Let's lift the left leg to the sky. Breathe in. Knee to nose. Hold three. Pressing off the right toes for two. You've got this, I'm proud of you. Step it forward, warrior one. Rise. Stay for the exhale. Big inhale. Hands down, three limbed plank again. We hover the left foot. Maybe you stay, maybe you flow. Let's meet in downward facing dog. Ha. Okay. All of that is done. I am so proud of you. Let's tiptoe our feet up to the hands. Sit onto your bum and roll onto your back. We're not quite done yet, but you've done a lot of great work. Bring your feet hip width apart and lift your pelvis right up off the mat. Squeeze the glutes here. I want you to feel like the heels of your feet are kind of dragging back towards your torso. Send your knees forward and we're going to strengthen that back body again. So, so, so important. Really lift the pelvis, squeeze the legs. We're going to stay and breathe. Breathe a lot. I know this is intense. 
Keep pressing down and squeezing. Make this matter. Take one more big breath in. And then really slowly, one bone at a time, come all the way down. So that you're going to use windshield wiper to the left and to the right. One more time like that. Back bend, lift the pelvis, squeeze the legs. Drag, isometrically drag those heels back towards your bum. As you send the knees forward, can you lift up just a little bit higher and stay for a full inhale, sending your chest towards your chin. Exhaling out, come on down. Really good work. Let the knees fall to the right and fall to the left. We'll take happy baby. Bring your knees into your chest. Grabbing the outsides of the feet. See if you can bring your tailbone all the way down to the mat. If it serves you right now to, to sway side to side, do that. I want you to acknowledge yourself if you stayed, even if there was discomfort. As humans, we're so quick to try and avoid anything uncomfortable. It's how we've survived all these years, certainly. But sometimes it doesn't serve us. Sometimes we need to feel a little frustration, a little discomfort, because it helps us to grow. Release the feet down. Take the backs of the legs, dropping up and down your mat, just like we did at the top of the practice. And you'll cross the ankles, plant the hands, and make your way back to a down dog, moving into half pigeon. Sweeping the right leg up to the sky and bringing that right knee towards your right wrist. Now, if you know this is too uncomfortable for your knees, no problem, you just stay on your back and take thread the needle by crossing that right ankle over the left knee. Otherwise, you can come into pigeon, a deep hip opener. You can stay here on your hands, your forearms, or if you have access to it, maybe you want to stack your palms and let your head just rest down on the back of your hands. Take three breaths. Make your way back up and let, that weight, let the weight come onto that right hip. And you're just going to come into cobbler's pose. Bringing the left foot to touch the right, creating a nice long spine. And then leaning forward as much as you're able. Breathing with the heart. Come back up to sit. And we'll make our way into half pigeon on the left side. So I'm just going to do this towards the back of my mat. I'm going to lean it over. If you need to make your way into your down dog in order to get into the pose, you do that. Walk yourself forward as far as you feel comfortable doing. And then take three breaths. start to walk your hands back up towards your body and let yourself fall onto the left hip again coming around in front this time we'll take a straddle legs nice and long take a big reach up with the hands and exhale reaching forward 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 Now that we're not moving quite so quickly, start to walk yourself back up. Bring your legs around back towards the top of your mat. Take a moment 
to do a body scan. Reach arms forward, bring legs together. Notice what's shifted onto your full back for Shavasana, allowing the wings of the shoulder blades to lie flat and allowing the whole weight of your body to be heavy, to be supported by the mat. Close down your eyes, you're not here for long. Give yourself some time just to let everything settle. Bring some gentle awareness back into your body. Feel your fingers and toes. Reach your arms overhead as you take a really big stretch. Reach your toes forward. Let your back arch and roll over to one side. And you press yourself up, keeping those eyes soft or closed. Bring your palms together at the center of your heart space. Grow your spine tall. And let the crown of your head float a little bit. Let the shoulders be broad and proud. Create that space. Acknowledge yourself for making space in your body physically and in your day. So that you can fill that space now with whatever it is that you need from the rest of your day. Lift the thumbs and touch them to your forehead center. May you be reminded of your worth, of your beauty. The light in me sees that very same light in you. Let us bow together and say, Namaste. Excellent work. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you back here tomorrow.